I think I asked them, have you ever been alive? And then one, one girl is walking down the street. She said, never have been yet. She said, never have been yet. So, <laughs> I don't know. She said she never been a human yet. Like a real human yet. That's what she said. They don't want you know of your power. Ooh, I be going ghost like I'm in the ass. So they cannot take my soul. Peace, oh please. It's obvious. Coming at you real sleepy right now because I literally just got up. Literally just woke up and I'm gonna tell you my lucid slash astral experience. So I wasn't even able to get out like how I normally do. So this is different this time. Usually I meditate for a good bit. I feel the rush of energy, the vibration, and then I usually can see and then I get up. This time it was different. I was like in a void basically multiple times. This happened like five times and I just kept trying to get through it, trying to break through it. So I had that video about how to astral project today and it was like, don't move or open your eyes when you wake up, right? So it was that kind of thing, right? When I do that technique is I do the, I do the paddling technique. I wave my arms like this and my, and my legs like that too, right? And then I'll usually feel the vibrations, vibrations rising, right? And so I was in the void and I realized, you know, like I am not, you know, <laughs> I don't think I'm like I'm like I don't think I feel awake like it feels different right and and is the more you meditate the more you can get a feel for these states of consciousness and so I was like all right you know let's try to move around <laughs> and so I kind of I kind of did that and it was like oh yes like the vibrations start rising and and then I, I just I keep going like this I feel the vibrations rising and then I'm like all right let's Let's wave my hands more and then I feel the vibrations rising even more and I'm kicking my legs more and more and I start feeling the vibrations more but then it woke me up, right? Woke me up. Got into that state again and I would do the same thing. I did the same thing. I think I woke up again. I woke up again. But see, that's the thing. You gotta keep going. You gotta keep going. You get into these states. Keep trying. Like, keep meditating and don't and don't move your actual physical body. I, I was like, all right, it's, it's not working. It's not working for some reason. I wasn't able, I'm so excited right now telling you this. Uh, I just want you to know like how excited I am. Like, I love these experiences so much. Like, yeah, I just want you to know like how excited I am to tell you about this. So, I, 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 I didn't try this technique like the third or fourth time around because I'm like, all right, it's not working. I keep doing it. The vibrations are rising, but for some reason I'm not able to just see. I'm like, all right, let me roll out. Let me roll out. Cause like, honestly, I was trying to get up before and it wasn't working. Like I knew I was in this void. To just get up was difficult. It was difficult. I, it wasn't working for some reason. I was like, stop. This is what you would call Sleep paralysis. I'm trying to roll out. You know, oh, it was crazy too, because I I rolled out right, and I could feel like I could feel myself rolling. I could feel myself. Yeah, this this might be a long video because I had a lot of astral experiences <laughs> or lucid. I don't know. I, and I feel myself rolling out, and I felt like I almost like crashed on the ground here, and I could feel like I heard a crash. I heard a noise. I heard it was weird. I heard a noise after I tried rolling out and it it felt like almost like landed on the ground, but then like I wasn't getting up or anything. I d I just kept rolling. I kept trying to roll more and more and more and then I heard that noise again like almost like I fell again. So I don't know if I fell and then my and then my astral body was moved over here and then I tried again and then I fell again and then I heard like that crash again. I think I heard the crash like for the third time and then finally stood up and I couldn't see anything right I couldn't see anything could not see a single thing so uh, I'm opening the my window I'm opening the the blinds now I, I still can't see anything I can feel it but I can't see a single thing and then I'm thinking like all right everything's black around me 
I can see clearly, I can see clearly, I can see clearly, I can see so clearly, I can see clearly, I can see clearly, I can see clearly. I, uh, the more I do this and the more I do this, the scene starts unfolding before my eyes and I can start seeing the scene start unfolding before my eyes. Finally, I can see and what I see in front of me is, almost, it's like not, it's just like not what the physical, you know, looks like, what the, my front yard looks like, it's not looking like that at all. And it was interesting, there was this huge hill, huge hill right in front of my house. There was a huge hill right in front of my house. I think I like looked away, I looked up, and then I looked back. Uh, Cause I wanted to see like if it would change. And it looked the same, there was a hill, and I don't remember what the surroundings looks like around there, but then I looked up, and back and then at this and then the th the third time there was like I saw a walkway and there was some other stuff and then like, I look up and then back and then the walkway is gone and then the walkway is gone so I am like all right let's go bang let's go let's get it at. <laughs> and so I open up the window I, I fly through the sequence of the events is so difficult to to remember but I wanted to go on top of my roof and meditate and just that's all I that's all my goal was for this experience but it was a lot more than that <laughs> it was a lot more than that I walk out and there's like these stones there's these little statues like right next to the hill i see like these stone statues like right in front of my front lawn and i'm just trying to like look at them and remember them and they look, almost look like almost like christian like like statues or something and i think i, I saw like the cross like it had like some kind of some kind of thing on its head like some kind of headwear and then like there was the cross and there was just like a, a bit like five of them or something like that like right next to each other i was like you know that's cool i wanted to like see if there's anything else any other symbols oh and there were other symbols but i can't remember what they were there were there were some other symbols and i want to remember but i can't remember what they were and then uh so there's another hill and at this point, like, everything looks really different, like, it does not look like the physical. It does not look like the physical. But, I go out there, it's, it's almost like this little, it's like this really peaceful looking area, like the sun shining, and it looks so beautiful, it looks so peaceful out here. And so, I, I just sit down in this one spot, I'm like, alright, I'm gonna meditate, and... So, oh, that was actually pretty trippy. So there's this tree, I think there's this, I'm sitting next to a tree, I believe. And I guess something's coming down from the tree. I can't remember. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm trying to remember because it was so many experiences. There's this thing hanging down. I don't remember what it was hanging down from. I don't remember what it was exactly. But I was just staring into it and meditating. And I was just, you know and I'm looking into it and basically I, re I start realizing you know it looks exactly like an eye it looks like an eye and I'm trying to remember like, is it was it a reflection of my eye of my eyes because it was just one eye and it was brown color I don't have brown color eyes I don't have brown color eyes and I'm looking at it and it looks like an eye and it looks like a brown color eye and I'm just, I'm just meditating and looking at this eye, which, yeah, it's just, I probably meditate not long, not long. I honestly, I wish I'd meditate long, but I was just so perplexed that I was like staring into this eye. I'm like, I kind of want to find another place to meditate. And then I think what happened was everything kind of went black again. I realized, I, st I remember like, you know, my physical body is on the bed. And then like, I'm, so I'm reaching down, I'm reaching down my hands and I'm trying to touch what's below my hands. And so I was thinking like, maybe I'm back in my, maybe, maybe I'm back in bed and I'm gonna do the same technique. So I was like reaching down, touching and I started realizing like I was feeling the grass. 
I started feeling grass under my hands. Everything's black. And I start feeling grass under my hands. So I'm like, I start like pulling it out, pulling it out. So, like, you know, inter interacting with it. Like, usually the more you interact with something in these states, um, the more lucid you become, the more awareness you have. So I'm doing this, I'm grabbing the grass out, and all of a sudden I realize I'm, I'm still out there. I'm still out there the whole time. And I thought I passed out. I thought I was, I thought I was asleep back, back in bed. And I realized, no, I'm still there. I'm still over there. I, I guess I lost consciousness out there in the in the grass. So I'm pulling out the grass and stuff. I finally realized I'm there. Got up out of that state. I see the street. I'm looking down at the street. There's all these like people coming down the street. There's there's like people walking down. And I'm just like, are you? Uh, what did I ask? I asked all these people like, are you alive? And then these two people just kind of looked at me weird and just kept walking. And then I was like, have you ever been alive? And then one, one girl was walking down the street. She said, never have been yet. She said, never have been yet. So, <laughs> I don't know. She said she never been a human yet. Like a real human yet. That's what she said. But I, I was, I saw her in human, humanoid form. So, honestly, I'm thinking like, Maybe it could have been like I was seeing them as humans because that's what that's what I know and but for them they look like something else like maybe a ball of energy or something like that and I'm, I'm saying ball of energy because I read Robert Monroe's Journeys Out of the Bodies where he would explain beings as balls of light so I don't know. I just saw, I saw these people, I, I was asking them all, all that, and then I asked like some more, and I think they say yeah, that they were humans before, and after this, I think I'm just like roaming, I'm just roaming around. I think I, at one point I lost, I lost uh, awareness, everything went black again. I think it happened again where I was like feeling, feeling the ground, I thought I was in bed again, and then I started, you know, Touching the ground or below me, I didn't know it was the ground. I thought it was my bed, and then I feel rock. I feel like solid, like rock. I'm like, what? <laughs> like, I feel this rock. So I'm like touching this rock, and then, and then, bam! I'm back out there. I'm back out there. Was brought back here again, and then like, all of a sudden, I was just floating around my room like. Like all of this, like you know what I mean, like doing all these flips and stuff, and like I would just float around my room, and then like I, I couldn't really see too well, and then finally like I like grounded myself in a way I don't know how, but and then I like went out the window again, came out, and <laughs> I don't know why, but like I'm noticing like this like trash cans out here, and they were like really beautiful. I remember just thinking like really elegant looking trash cans I don't know it was they they was like almost like golden plated or something like that and I, there was like other stuff maybe they weren't trash cans actually they they probably weren't trash cans but I don't know, <laughs> I don't know what it was but I, I've never seen anything like it in my whole life like you know what I mean like I've never seen anything like it my whole life I can't even I can't even remember all the details it was just so intricate I've never seen anything like it my whole life and I feel like I remember seeing other stuff like it was just so foreign I can't even remember it. It was just so out there. I walk by these trash cans and then there's this like truck. It looks almost like a jeep or something like that. It has like all these scorpions on it and some dragons. I was thinking like that was cool. Like that's pretty nice. <clears throat> Cause I'm a Scorpio. I'm not sure like what to think about that right. I remember like looking around this area thinking, you know, all right, so there was that one experience I went to that tower as I published before. And I, I was th and I said in that video like maybe that tower like what I saw <clears throat> at that moment was different than what I, what it actually was, right? I was saying maybe it was actually different than what it was actually was. And so I'm looking up. I'm looking around at I, I noticed that like there was a big big tall building there actually around the same place where there was that tower 
So that was interesting. But there was all these other buildings all around, which, you know, we have houses here, actually. <clears throat> In physical life, I'm just like flying around. I think I think I meditated somewhere. I meditated somewhere else. I was I was I don't remember what I was staring at. I meditated a little bit. Nothing happened. So I was trying to like. I heard someone when that when they meditate in the astral realm, their spirit guide comes to them. So I did it for a little bit. I honestly I didn't do it long enough. Like I kept getting distracted. I was I would meditate for a little bit. Then I'd be like so curious to see what what else there is. Oh, and I'm just like flying at one point through these like there's all these like houses on the side and there's like at one point there's like a bunch of basketball nets all around and like so there was like so many basketball nets all around and then like I'm going through yeah and this honestly at this point it sounds like a lucid dream right the basketball nets like there's a bunch of them like it sounds like a lucid dream honestly and so I'm, I'm just, I just keep going and I see like this like pier and a, like a dock and I'm just like, I think it was like, I might have been like trying to yell out something to that, to that person. I, I can't even remember this part, but it's uh, pretty bizarre because this was a very, very real, very real experience for me. Very vivid, very realistic. At first it wasn't vivid, you know, it was darkness, but then once I said I could see, I can see, finally I could see everything. And so that then it was like great and vivid and super realistic, just so realistic. You know, you're, you're it's just crazy. You're you like out there, and it's like, man, like I'm really here. Like, and it's just it's mind blowing. It's absolutely just mind blowing. So I wanted to share this technique. I literally just woke up, and this is the first thing. I just want to shoot this video so I don't forget anything. And what happened? I forgot so many different things. So many different things, but I, at least I could put, put a bunch of the pieces together here for you. So I have some videos here about Lucy Astral Projection videos and subscribe, hit the bell notification because I have a lot more videos coming. Um, I have to edit some videos still. I have a bunch more and I'm going to keep releasing these videos about my experiences. So until next time. Peace out, please keep your mind at ease, it's obvious.